Our effort in setting up the Global Resilience Research Network is about bringing together expertise that's around the world is all wrestling with the resilience challenge. The goal for us is as we build more research uh, institutes and universities involved with this is to identify where there is opportunities for collaboration. And then the network's job is to help provide some support for those collaborations to happen. One of the things that's made us set out in our joint enterprise here of building the Global Resilience Research Network is that there is an extraordinary amount of research that is going on in a variety of virtually around the world mm -hmm. because everybody is confronting this challenge of how do they deal with disruptions. Yes, so we do not want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, at the same time, we know that there is different experience, different background in different places on Earth and we should bring them together to collaboratively work on, on resilience. Uh, one of the things that we'll be building is a virtual commons, a knowledge sharing, document sharing, platform that allows uh, researchers to see what they're doing in near real time yes. and to communicate not just in the documents they have but also in terms of coming on and doing live video conferences with each other and engaging in ways. So this is the platform that will allow to facilitate this that we're investing yes. in. Yeah. But the key is the recognition by, by scholars internationally about the need for this international collaboration. And I think when we, the value hopefully for institutes to engage in this networks is things like access to data they may not have, access to collaborators that will reinforce or expand their research teams, and the chance hopefully to have a greater impact. Because one of the things we've seen is that hazards that used to be local, right? When a hurricane hit one area, it affected the area it hit. But now we know the systems that are assaulted in those areas are often tied to other systems that go beyond national borders. And then we see these cascading failures, the perhaps premier European Research Institute doing that work is your institute. So it was for us to identify you as our major counterpart over here in the US. It was a perfect match. Our infrastructures are aging. They have to face more threats and get more and more complex. So the whole system is far too complex and not to do it collaboratively. The clear, compelling reason for doing this is we're all in this together <laughs> with regard to our risk uh, that we're facing, but also in that getting out in front of that risk has to truly be a collaborative effort.